Hello everyone, Dr. Mandel here with you. I want to say hello to everyone. I have a lot of great information to share with you today. Uh, this is about the vitamin deficiency that may be written all over your face. When I say written all over your face, how about wrinkles all over your face? Unfortunately, this is one thing that sets people crazy when it comes down to the billions of dollars spent uh, in the industry of creams and potions and promises that people are making them to remove the crow's feet uh, under the eyes, the sagging bags, the wrinkles, whatever you may be having. Uh, here is some great information I want to share with you, and I think that you will appreciate this. Let's move on. Uh, here is something, obviously, that we're talking about. We're looking at uh, wrinkles, the inevitable fact of aging. And yes, we all will have wrinkles to certain degrees. But again, today I see more young people having wrinkles uh, much, much way too young. 2011 researchers presented findings at a meeting of the Endocrine Society in Boston revealed that women in their 40s and 50s who have extensive wrinkling are much more likely than peers to have low bone mass. We look at low bone mass uh, that's the big thing today because of the fact that uh, our diet plays a significant role. And what they found, the relationship between the wrinkles and bone density in every single bone tested, maybe the hips, the heels, the lumbar spine, wherever it is. In addition, the relationship existed regardless of the body fat percentage or age. And what they found, it's known that uh, Japanese woman, I'm going to be moving all around here. If we look at the Japanese woman here, look how beautiful their skin is. No sagging. Uh, the, look, the, the, the elderly have beautiful skin. And they done studies and they compared these people, particularly in Asia, the Japanese as well as the South Korean. And they noticed a tremendous change to those people who are living in North America. A huge change in a basis primarily on their diet. Now, even the Japanese women living in Tokyo were compared with women from Asian cities like Shanghai and Bangkok. However, they showed the least visible signs of aging, which takes us to a very interesting study. The diet and lifestyle factors of these three Asians of women are comparable except for one notable exception, the consumption of the natto, the natto in Japan. Now you're saying, what is that? Well, the Tokyo residents frequently enjoy this natto, which is a strong, smelly food traditionally made from fermented soybeans for breakfast. Let's see if I can find it right here. This is what we're talking about. This is vitamin K2. Don't jump the gun yet. I'll get back to that in just a second. But the research which bolsters the notion that getting plenty of this anti-wrinkle vitamin K2 in the diet makes for smoother facial features found in research of, Kore of the Korean scientists, which was published in the Journal of Nephrology in 2008. Uh, the rate uh, just keeps changing for the better of this K2 that they're finding this major deficiency. Let me see if I can come back to here where I can see you here. Uh, but this major deficiency that's going on uh, of vitamin K2. Now, let me just briefly tell you this. We look at vitamin K1. Most people say vitamin K. Well, people who have been on uh, anti-clotting uh, medications, they'll say don't drink or I'm sorry, don't eat or drink those greens because those greens obviously cause clotting. So vitamin K1, primarily your green leafy vegetables. There are green fruits as well. Uh, and K2 are primarily the fermented as well as the grass fed uh, dairy that you may think like the eggs, the egg yolks. Uh, we're looking at chicken livers, but what they found here on the natto Okay, a hard word for me to pronounce because I'm not used to coming across that. A whopping 1,103 milligrams of this vitamin K2, which blows every other food by a country mile. And you look at the difference between goose liver, hard cheeses, soft cheeses. But you can look at this chart and 
all in all, what this comes down to, very simple, is that start getting these foods into your diet. Because these vitamin K2s are known to prevent, okay, you, actually I'd like you to look at my other video on vitamin K2, but these vitamin K2s, what it does, it takes the, the calcium and puts it where it's supposed to put it, into the bone, and actually takes out the uh, calcium in the arteries of uh, keeping it from going to the heart to keep you obviously preventing you from having cardiovascular disease. There's a lot of things it does do and uh, the research is out there and I will be having more information on that in other videos. But the message here is that these particular wrinkles right here are tied in to decrease bone mass, which is directly tied into osteoporosis. So what we what they found is that they noticed that the younger women who were having more wrinkles were having less bone mass, more osteopenia, more osteoporosis. A great study, something we all can learn from. I ask you to share this with uh, others. Put it on your social media. I ask you to check uh, my uh Facebook, Motivational Doc, check me out on Facebook over there. I appreciate any reviews. Leave your comments over there. I try to get to those questions as much as I can. And most important, I ask you to make it a great day. And again, please subscribe so you can get these notifications, like great videos like these, cutting-edge nutrition, as well as self-help videos from musculoskeletal conditions, neck, a herniated disc, ailments, all those kind of problems. I got it all for you to keep you healthy. Make it a great day and we'll catch up with you real soon. Bye-bye now.